Hello friends and my dear students hope you are safe at your places so in the last session we have discussed about the compound pendulum and now we are going to discuss about the natural frequency of the vibration when a spring having mass okay means in the vibration system whichever we have studied till now we have not considered or we are not going to consider any kind of mass of the spring in future as well so let's see that what are the changes will occur if any system which are having mass of the spring okay suppose this is the spring s which is the stiffness and the mass of this is ms okay so if you will uh, just take a section of this and this will be a dy length of this and at a by so this will be vl into y okay in this way you can calculate the whole mass of this particular body or particular cross section okay so if you want to con uh, calculate the kinetic energy of the spring then it will be equals to half mb square where m is equals to ms by l means for the whole this length is l so this is for a section ms by l into dy and v which is velocity for this unit uh, only cross section this will be equals to v into l into y whole square so in this way you can calculate the kinetic energy of a spring which will be equals to 1 by 6 ms into v square okay now let us just calculate the whole energy stored in the body or just apply the principle of mass energy conservation okay that will be equals to half mb square plus kinetic energy of the spring due to mass plus half sx square so then this will be equals to half uh, mb square as you can see here half sx square this is energy potential energy this is half 1 by 6 into ms into v square which is kinetic energy in the spring due to the mass of the spring in this way you can see that energy will be equals to half fs uh, half sx square plus 1 by 2 m in the initial equation this, there was only this m but now it is m plus ms by 3 so your if you will just uh, differentiate it and equate it to zero then you will get the value of your angular velocity or you will say omega n so similarly i have just written it directly here omega n is equals to under root s divided by m plus ms by 3 so this is the angular velocity when natural when you are considering a spring having a mass in the vibration system now let's just go to the next one which is called as torque method okay here what you have to do only thing is you have to apply the d'alembert's principle when vibrations are there in the angular form okay then add initial inertial torque to all the torque in the system it will be equals to zero initial torque it is i theta double dot or i alpha theta double dot is your acceleration let a mass m is displaced in anti clockwise direction with theta then torque will be equals to mgl sin theta this you have also seen in the compound pendulum now inertial torque is equals to i theta double dot okay now if you will apply the d lambert's principle as you can see in the figure as well this is l sin theta this is mg so your torque will be equal to mg l sin theta now sin theta is a very uh, less so you are just equating theta is small so sin theta is equals to theta so i theta double dot plus mg l theta which will be equals to zero in this way you can equate it and this uh, i is your mass moment of inertia which we have kept it ml square here ml square theta double dot plus mg l theta which is equals to 0 now this if you will rearrange it then it will look like theta double dot plus gl into theta is equals to 0 as you have seen in the linear vibration equation where it is x double dot plus uh, s by l or s by m into x is equals to 0 where in the angular term it is theta double dot plus gy l into theta is equals to 0 so this angular velocity omega n will be equals to gy l here okay similarly you can also apply this at different examples if it is at gravity is at this point center of gravity is located to some other parts okay torsional vibration we will see in upcoming sessions what do you understand by the torsional vibrations meanwhile just try to cover this particular topic and try to solve the numericals on the basis of your previous year university exam paper okay if you have any doubt do comment in the chat box of this video okay or in the comment box of this video and do subscribe engineering college baswada youtube channel for more such updates about different branches of engineering 
like mechanical electrical civil computer science and mechanical okay thank you so much and stay tuned with our, with our engineering college maswada youtube channel thank you so much